Hi guys, Tesla just dropped a bombshell that is literally going to shake up the EV market. The Model Y Juniper is coming with a massive 96 kilowatt battery pack. That's actually 28% larger than the current model. We're talking about a potential 460 mile range in a family SUV. But here's what's really interesting. While everyone's focused on range, they're missing out on something that's even more important than this upgrade. Look, I've been covering Tesla for quite a few years now, and I'll be honest. When I first saw these specs, I was a little bit skeptical. A 460 mile range in a long range variant? And that's unprecedented for this segment. And I know what you're thinking, is this just another minor refresh with some fancy marketing? Well, after diving deep into technical specifications, I can tell you this is far more significant than it actually appears. So let's break down the four major upgrades that make the Juniper really special. First, let's talk about power. The new drivetrain pushes out 220 kilowatts, up from 194 kilowatts in the current model. And that's a 13% increase in maximum output. This explains the improved acceleration times. We're looking at 4.8 seconds to 60 for the long range variant and an impressive 3.5 seconds for the performance model. To put this into perspective, that's supercar territory from just a few years ago in a family SUV. <laughs> but here's where it gets really interesting. The second major upgrade is the battery system itself. Not only is it larger at 96 kilowatts, but Tesla's made significant improvements to the thermal management system. This means more consistent performance in extreme weather conditions and potentially better longevity. And what's particularly clever is how they've managed to package this larger battery without significantly impacting the vehicle's weight, distribution, or center of gravity. Think about what this means for real world use. You can drive from LA to San Francisco, spend the day there, and still have enough range to get back without charging. And that's a game changer for long distance travel. Now let's talk about what you'd experience inside the car. The third major upgrade is the completely redesigned interior. We're not just talking about some new trim pieces. The Juniper adds an eight inch rear passenger screen, 200 color ambient lighting system, and this is crucial, ventilated seats with high quality perforated upholstery. The new dual wireless charging system in the center console is particularly clever. It has a magnetic alignment that ensures a perfect charging position every single time. But what really sets this apart is the attention to detail in the noise reduction and ride quality. Tesla's added additional sound dampening materials and redesigned the suspension geometry. Now, early reports have suggested that this has resulted in a 20% reduction in cabin noise compared to the current model. <laughs> and speaking of improvements, now the fourth and most significant upgrade is the enhanced autonomous capabilities. Now, Tesla has completely revamped the object detection and recognition system. <laughs> and this isn't just a software update. It's a fundamental improvement in how the car perceives and responds to its own environment. The new hardware suite includes upgraded cameras with high resolution and better low light performance, plus improved processing capabilities for faster decision making. Now, why is Tesla making these changes? It's quite simple. Competition is really heating up, especially in China. The Model Y currently accounts for 78.5% of Tesla's retail sales there, but new competitors are entering the market with really impressive specs. So let's look up what they're up against. The Zika 7X is offering similar range, but with faster charging capabilities. Nia's Onvo L60 boasts a more premium interior. And the Huawei Sherry Luxeed, I can't pronounce that, R7 is coming out at a lower price point. So Tesla's response with the Juniper is comprehensive. They're not just matching these competitors, they're trying to leapfrog them. And the timing is crucial here. Production began in October 2024, starting with about 12 vehicles per day. And this controlled rollout suggests Tesla's taken extra care with quality control. 
You see, they know they can't afford any missteps with this launch. <laughs> but here's what makes this really fascinating. The Juniper isn't just about competing with other EVs anymore. Now with this level of range and refinement, Tesla is clearly targeting luxury SUVs from traditional manufacturers like BMW and Mercedes. And the message is clear, there's no compromise needed when choosing an electric vehicle. So should you buy now or not? Let's break down the key factors. Now what you wanna do, you wanna buy the current Model Y if you need a new vehicle immediately. You can take advantage of the current incentives and discounts. You prioritize proven technology over the latest features. You're primarily using the vehicle for shorter trips where the current range is more than adequate. However, wait for the Juniper if you regularly drive long distances and wouldn't benefit from the extended range. You value the latest technology and the enhanced autonomous capabilities. Interior comfort and refinement are top priorities. You're planning to keep the vehicle long term and want the most future proof option. And if you're interested, here's my take. If you need a car right now and can get a good deal on the current model, the Model Y is still an excellent vehicle. The existing model is proven available immediately, and you might find some really great incentives. Now look, the combination of extended range, premium interior features, and enhanced autonomous capabilities makes it a compelling upgrade. So let me know, what do you actually think about these upgrades? Let me know in the comments below. Are they enough to make you wait for the Juniper, or would you rather grab a deal on the current Model Y? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to join the Electric Oracle community for EV insights and analysis. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all the technical deep dives that we do on this channel.